Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to more Mass Effect. This one is going to be a little bit shorter than my episodes normally are, purely because I have somewhere to be after this. So I hope that's okay. I will be putting out another episode of the weekend and that will be my normal sort of significantly longer than this one. So at least that's only a couple of days away. So I'm thinking maybe it's best to do some side quests just now, maybe one or two, if that's okay. Last time we were helping out a bunch of NPCs as you hope. Um, and there was a lot of combat as well last time. I do feel I'm growing confidence. So hopefully by Mass Effect 3 I'll be a fucking pro. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think we should just get on with it. Okay, let's check out our quests. So I think what I'll do for the next episode that will be out on Saturday or Sunday, fingers crossed, <laughs> I will return to Pharos and continue with the main mission. Although it was really helpful to get people's opinions about whether or not I am at a level where I should be going to Pharos or holding off for a little bit, but I think the consensus is that I should just go for it. You know, and like I've said before, I will be playing the game again with my custom shepherd <laughs> uh, in the future. So there'll be other playthroughs of this in my own time, so if I don't get the option that I want this time, you know, if my charm's not high enough or whatever, then that's fine. I will just go and cry in a corner and get over it eventually. <laughs> right, um, oh this one might be really good, find Dr. Celion. I was quite intrigued when Garrus told us about this guy. He sounded like a bad bastard, so maybe we should go and, yeah, head to the Herschel, Herschel system in the Kepler Verge, yeah. How is that for decision making? I'm getting better, aren't I? <laughs> um, right, Kepler Verge. Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. You're Chairman welcome. Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Awesome. Oh, should we maybe go and talk to the crew first? In case there's anything new. I think we maybe will do that first, actually. Just very quickly. Uh, Cause I'd like to catch up with the gang. You know what I'm saying? Liana. Hey. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I'd like to talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must get lonely, do you like, or it sounds boring. Um, do you like it? You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Yeah, she was saying that's boring, but I think that would be so interesting. No? Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Relax, I wasn't serious. Don't try to study me. I wasn't serious. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking. Oh, she says it's so goddess. deadpan. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time oh. in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Same. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. <laughs> oh, bless her. I can totally relate though. I feel like I open my mouth and just meh, word vomit all the time. As you will probably know. If you're a regular watcher of me. <laughs> right, okay, well that was I should go. Goodbye, <laughs> Shepard. Oh, codex. Beacon. Cool. Hidden. Lover boy. I love that! 
<laughs> You're rolling his eyes at me. Oh my god, uh... Looking for personal input. Ooh! Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Tactical appraisal? What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. She seems nice enough. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Do you? Any intentions there, Lieutenant? None, Commander. I prefer adventurous women. <laughs> Keep in your pants. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. So I was kind of discussing this with some of you about the romance options and whatever because I was a bit unsure about um, how to go about it and whatnot and what the, you know, where you could romance more than one person or being at a time. And I'm thinking I'm going to go with Gareth. I also like Liara. Seems like a very likeable option. Shepard. Okay, it Rex. appears that there's nothing new uh, from anyone. Maybe Commander? Actually, how are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't... Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. That's a bit inappropriate, no? Considering that they don't really know each other that well, I feel that's a bit of a weird thing to say, no? Am I just being... Want me to ask her about her sex life might be illuminating. Don't be cruel. I don't think she's used to teasing, good natured or otherwise. Oh, is she, ha is she joking? No fun, Commander. I just can't tell, man. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Maybe I was taking her too literally there. Obviously, I'm not very good at picking up on... <laughs> signals. So I really need to sell a bunch of stuff. I'm not kidding when I say a bunch of stuff. <laughs> like a fuckload of stuff. But I don't really have a lot of time just now, so... I think what I'll do is come back and do that in my own time just not film it because it's going to be kind of boring to see me selling 20 million things but yeah back to what I was saying before I'm thinking Gareth or Liara not quite decided who yet I just find something quite likeable about them both the more I get to know them I guess the more I'll be more certain in my answer but although I feel like it's kind of funny that like Caden's the one that I seem to have the most <laughs> interaction with and the one that seems to be sort of the most keen but I just I'm not feeling it with him man not feeling it <laughs> oh Tally I keep forgetting about Tally aha yeah there she is hey Shepard do you need something? alright <laughs> I should go right let's get ahead into that mission then the Dr. Celion sounds pretty interesting Just refresh my horrendous memory. So, Herschel system and the Kepler Verge. Herschel system, Kepler Verge. Herschel system, Kepler Verge. Oh, this must be him, MSV Fidel. 
So we'll have to take Gareth with us, won't we? There we are, private owner Dr. R. Hart. The Fidel is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. In addition to the standard cargo bay, the hull has several biological research modules attached. Right, let's board it. So we'll take Gareth because he wants to be there. And. Oh, we're here already. I was wondering why they look so tall next to me. They're on steps. <laughs> um. Let's do this then. Okay, so it seems like the only way, or the only door is this one. Oh, there's loads of them again. Right, let's just go for it. No, 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 you stay here, you stay here, you stay Over here. There. No, ah! Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Hey, hey! Alive. Uh, shot in the ass. Any more? Uh huh. There's another one. Oh, the satisfaction. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look for what, if there is any. Which I am thinking there's not. Nah, okay. So, our man must be through here. The salient. Dr. Hart. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. You certain or Garrus? Uh... Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doc. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Oh, uh, back down, Gaddis. Time to die, Doctor. Or finish him. Um, so, you know me, I'm all for, like, good guy, Ailey. You know what I'm saying? So, I think, like, killing the guy, even though he's an absolute bastard of the highest order by the sounds of things. I think killing him would maybe be the wrong way to go. Yeah. If we're going for like the Paragon. The Paragon way. So back down Garrus. Even though I totally understand why um, others would not have chose that, I completely understand why. Um, I think I'm going to go with this option. Take him in. Drop him off at the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. Thank Gaddis. I'll do her all right. Um. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I. Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Solari. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. Sarcastic? Much. 
shit, is he? Oh, yeah, bastard. Oh! <laughs> and so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? <laughs> sorry. Such a slow reaction time there. I'll tell you, or I'm sorry, Garrus. I'll tell you. I'm kind of intrigued by this option here. You can't predict how people will act, Garrus, but you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Okay, Gandhi. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Okay, Saleon's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red, but his work has ended here. Time to head back to Normandy. Well, I mean... Um... I don't feel too bad about that, really, because... A, the guy was a... An arsehole, basically. B, we gave him a chance. And C, reasons. <sighs> Malfunctioning objects. Right, let's over here. More armor. Alright, and our skill's too low for this one. Ah oh well. Right, is that us then? Shall we check out the other rooms? Oh, we can't. <laughs> Let me check out this room. Yeah. Ooh. So that one was very short and sweet, wasn't it? So I think we've got time for another one on our side quest. Um, yeah, just gotta decide which one though. That sometimes takes up the most time is me fucking deciding where I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh. I may just close my eyes and pick randomly. <laughs> I'm thinking this one. Missing survey team. Yeah, let's do it. Anti-assist system in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Yeah. I think we've got time for that. Hades is here, right? Mm hmm Okay, a survey team is on the surface monitoring the geological and meteorological effects of the test impact. So this must be where we're going then, Trebin. Yeah? I guess we'll see! I would do more planet exploring if I wasn't filming and, you know, I know it can take up a lot of time. So I think when I play it on my own next time, I'll, um definitely be going to the planets more and just wandering around and taking my time but I feel like because I'm filming it you know I've got as much as I like to take my time with it even though I am filming it and I'm not rushing through it I think I need to be going to every single planet in the whole game would just <laughs> take me forever you know so um yeah we'll just be going to the ones that are related to an assignment or a mission yeah so who should we take with us here uh okay we got a Have a look first. I right. So we've got anomalies to look at. Did we? We'll do that first. My normal little routine. Ooh. Aha. Oh bastard! Ah. Ha! <laughs> 
He was yeeted. <laughs> oh, that tackled me. <laughs> oh my god, right. Out we get. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, anomaly. Oh, jeez, oh. Oh. <laughs> it was up here somewhere. Ah. Round the mountain. Oh no! It's a very awkward place, isn't it? Oh, there we are. Are there more scavengers here? Oh, there's loads of stuff. Redeploying. Oh. This device is transmitting tight beam signals into geosynchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellites, causing them to crash nearby. Right. I'm not sure if any of these um, parts. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can interact with them. Oh, keep doing that. <laughs> oh, it's very messy. Very ominous. Alright, we're nearly there. Oh yeah, I can see it in the distance, see. Oh! 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 Shit. 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 Fuck. Oh no 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 no! Ah! Oh my god, I hate these things. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I like I have to. I knew that was going to happen. It was inevitable. No! Are you joking? Are you joking? I thought I got it. Oh my god. Ah! It's chasing me. Please stop chasing me. Oh my god. Right, it's got very little health left, so I'm just going to finish it. Come on! Right, finally. Holy shit. Scary big bastard. They're probably not even that scary, I'm just a bit of a wimp to be honest.
Okay, there are no signs of any survivors. The pod is empty, except for a small tattered flag marked with the Nimines. Nimines? 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 <laughs> Colony insignia. Okay. Oh no, look at my Mako! Ah! Oh no. That's okay. Me repair it, it's fine. So, the last thing to do now is go to the... Research base. So it is there, we shall go! I keep calling those things Thrasher Maws and it's not Thrasher Maws. Ailey, it's Thrasher Maw. Get it right! Oh. Just checking, just checking. Where is everybody? Let's find out. Uh, over that thing over there looks. Um, shot myself there. Um, there's something over there that looks promising. So we'll check these out first. And according to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Guess we should head to the excavation site then. Sweet. Right, so, go back in the Mako and head over to yon excavation site. I probably need to really mark that there, did I? <laughs> it's quite clearly over in that direction. Good practice though, right? This looks very interesting. What's going to be here? I was expecting an onslaught there of baddies. A baddie onslaught. <laughs> I suppose the red dots in my map not being there were a massive giveaway, but... <laughs> Did I miss anything here? Hang on. I... Did not. Okay. Come on then. Come on then. I've not noticed me yet. Fuck. Okay, I want to. Hit pipe. <laughs> Fucking mess it. Oh fuck. Whatever alien technology the survey team unearthed must have turned them into mindless fanatics, machine cultists. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Oh shit, there's more, right. Ok, 
Okay, that accounts for all of the Exogeny survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth or Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from Geth territory is a mystery. Oh, okay. There's a lot of them. A lot, a lot of them. Let's see what's through. These doors. Any goodies? <laughs> Check this one out. Sludge canister. Right, we'll equip all that next time, I think. Um, or check it out next time. Um, oh, blindingly bright. Anything else? Nope, I think that is us. So, let's get out of here. Oh, a lock crate. Nearly missed that one. That was easy. <laughs> I have totally lost my bearings. This way? Sure hope so. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I think we'll just return to the Normandy then and leave it there. Okay everyone, we will leave it there. I know this one is going to be a bit of a short one, but um, I still feel happy that I did something. You know, I feel like I do want to get into the routine now of filming two Mass Effects a week, regardless if that's side quests, casual, chill playthroughs, not much happening. I still think it's important that I dedicate time to doing that so yeah I suppose most side quests count don't they to the story and everything and then enjoyment factor so yeah. But like I say I will be filming again tomorrow night and hopefully should be up by Saturday or Sunday. I'll be going back to Pharos and continuing with the main mission so that's exciting. If you're enjoying my videos please do feel free to subscribe and yeah, I'll leave it there. So until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.